So I went to the room. As I bought to just say, hey, don't worry lah, you know, uh, I have not taken my vows. The word vows came to me in my dream. Vows. Okay. As I touch him, his voice said, don't touch me. I know who you are. Yeah, then I said, I thought, Auntie, come, let's say the rosary. So I said the rosary. As I sing the rosary. Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. Um, it happened when I was reaching puberty. Um, I was in uh, having my, I think it was around 2 o'clock or 7 when yeah, I think I was sleeping. I was about to get up to have to have to go to the toilet. Then um, on the way back, uh, someone whispered to me, informing me not to go and sleep. You know, decided not to go and sleep. So I decided, uh, okay, um, I didn't know what the hell was that. It was a man's voice. Um, uh, I just this must be my imagination at that moment. Then second time, this guy voice. Send the same message to me, send the same message to me, do not go and sleep. So of course I plunge out. I, I what, what the hell was that, you know? Uh, then I look around me and all that, no one seems to be around. Then the third time, he told me more information of what's going to happen. He told me, do not go and sleep, your grand aunt going to fall in the bathroom at one angle, hit her head against the wall and she'll be bleeding. So I said, okay lah, I'll just stop there, I'll just listen to you, and I waited. I need to reverse back a little bit. I didn't give you the, the, the gist, of, part of the gist, is because when I was about to go to the toilet, when I was about to come back to my bedroom, we crisscrossed, my grand aunt and I crisscrossed. Uh, within 10 seconds, there was a big bang in the bathroom, and that was around 2 o'clock in the morning. I rushed to my parents' room, woke my parents up, I just say, um, Mark fell down. We call him Mark because he looked after all of us. They jump on the bed, they rush to the toilet, and what I, I heard and was mentioned, the description, it all tell it. So she was bleeding. They think that part of her brain or part of her scar was uh, the skin tore. So was, she was bleeding very heavily, and um, unfortunately, um, we couldn't carry her because she was very heavy. The ambulance came took her to the hospital and did some, I think she had about seven or eight stitches. So in a way, like, uh, that voice um, saved my grand auntie from dying in the toilet two o'clock in the morning. I supposed to be a doctor, but I somehow sidetracked to be a logistic. Why? Because um, in the shipping world or in the cargo world, um, especially in the, in, there are a lot of things that are there which was never mentioned. Experiences, especially after seven, uh, because our office is near the beach. So a lot of stories about uh, the ghosts, because we have visitation every night, actually, at the, old, at the old office, and few of them will come, and we'll just go onto the rooftop and have a ball up there, you know. So you see these people, they are... They're spirits, huh? uh, but, they, but they are the 18th century spirits, huh? during the British era, with all the colonial uh, outfits and all the lace and all that sort. So they, they, what I've I what I've heard the stories that they come around after ten or after twelve, just to have a small gathering and all that up the rooftop. And so you, you hear voices, you hear what's happening uh, up there, lah. You know. Um, other than that, you hear the tables and chairs moving, uh, especially around time, or the or the the printing machines start to turn on and off, or the lights turn on and off, and all that, and. But that is what I I I, I can remember lah. Okay, I share you I share you a dream lah. I share you a dream. When you talk about this oral thing lah. Didn't you, didn't you just mention? That was some years back. Um, I was having a nice dream and somehow the other. Then I met uh, a guy. Uh, it could be a friend of mine. We were having uh, dinner at the table. Uh, the mother was the opposite side, and I'm at the, the, the opposite, and the son was on the left hand side, having makan, makan. Then suddenly there was a blackout in the, in the room, in the dining area. Then uh, 
uh, a white beam, like uh, beam me up spark, or whatever they call it. Uh, a, a yellow ray came on, on me suddenly. I felt such a nice uh, warm sensation around me, like an aura going around me, uh, like a, a light shining shine on me. Then at the same time, when I was relaxing myself and absorbing all the energies on the light, seven color of the rainbows came down together and it went around me seven times. I'm not so sure why, but it went around me seven times. Then as it reached the seventh time, the aura, the, the, the seven rainbows and the ray all went back up to heaven. That was my first experience of when you say about aura. I was literally glowing. I believe that could be the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. When it ha after it finished, then the mother at the table told me, um, do you know that you are the chosen one? The guy at the table said, Mom, excuse me, I want to leave the table. Okay, so he left, went to the table. Somehow the other, he was a little bit upset. I'm not so sure why. So I went to the room. As I bought to just say, hey, don't worry, la, you know, uh, I have not taken my vows. The word vows came to me in my dream. Vows. Okay. As I touch him, his voice said, Don't touch me. I know who you are. Yeah. He came. Then I said, After Auntie come, let's say the rosary. So I said the rosary. As I sang the rosary, he started to get back to his... He, he, he was starting to change. He had uh, the devil's face, the horns start appearing in, and uh, it was literally a devil lah, in my dream. Okay. So when he said rosary, he started to get back his human form again and he moved on to the dining area, another at the end of the house, the back the back of the house. Okay. Then we followed. Very strangely, I don't know why there was a lion in my dream and there was a trainer. The devil, the, the, my friend, so called the friend come devil, okay? said um, let, let me show you what I can do then in front of my very eyes he told the lion to eat up his trainer tear, the, tear him apart just like that in front of my eyes so it was a very bloody bloody scene I always say that that's a bloody scene so I said uh, see the, 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 the friend said see uh, I said yeah okay then out of nowhere there was a jogger came in, in uh, a lady came in the, the dream. He told me, do you like to see it again? But this time round, it's a bit different. When the, when the jogger came to my dream in front of the lion, I told the, I just somehow I told the lion, don't move, stay where you are. He was a pawn over the jogger, but couldn't, was like, I can't move, like frozen, that kind, you know? Then I questioned the burger, I told him that, you think you are the only one who have the power? I challenged him, you think I'm, you're the only one with the power? So he was very upset. Then I woke up. My neighbor, uh, year, years ago, um, the my neighbor was not feeling well. Somehow the other, uh, she had this uh, fever. So I told her, read the Quran. Is I read this hour? Yes, read now. Read now, okay? I don't know why my mind told me to do this to her, to tell, share with her this information. So I said, okay, she said she will do it. She will, she will, she will read the Quran. And after it's done, she asked uh, for a comforter. She had no comforter. She was feeling very cold, very cold. So I said, can we have a comforter? My comforter, my single comforter. Yeah. I pass over to her. Then next day came, the comforter was given back to me. Okay, I was feeling better. I was happy for that. But the spirit in that house went into the comforter. When they were saying the Quran and all that sort, the 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 the, the, the thing, I don't know what is it, entered the entered the comforter. We brought in, we took it to the house. So the thing came into the house and went to my room. Uh, we put in a cupboard, some or the other. I think my father or um, I think my father heard noises in the room and all that, and all. so he started to say prayers and so forth and all that. Uh, I think it was the second night or third night. He saw an om, om, oh. om, an yeah. om a ball. Okay, came out from the from the from the uh, cabinet, the wardrobe, and flew out to the window and went off. He went. 
So it's a possibility that someone wants to do something bad to my neighbor and I help the neighbor. But the thing came to me, came to the family also. And he went. But lucky my 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 father could strong in his prayers, said a special prayer, and he just left the house after that. Wasn't able to stay, right? Wasn't able to stay. She was my colleague. Um, she wanted some help on why she can't sleep at home for some nights. So don't know what's wrong with her. Then she, as I was having a nice conversation conversation with her, I had this uh, this thought came to my mind that there was. Uh, I just gave her some description that you have a, a, a table, a, a, a dressing table, and under the dressing table there's, there's a place for the chair to to slide in. You know. I told her this question, do you have this kind of dressing table at your, at your bedroom and a, a, a nice uh, table, a chair to slide in? I say, yes, I have that. Okay, below the table, can you do me a favor? Can you, do you have some, some uh, water? Yes, I do. She, she, she mentioned that she has some. Okay, bless, just say some short prayer, bless that area for me. Okay, she did that. What happened is um, that that night came and she wanted to go and sleep. She saw some toyos under the under her the, the dressing table came out and went and was standing up over the, uh, the, the 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 room the room uh, window about to jump down about to just fly away or whatever it is. She was the first experience that she ever experienced that that. So that night somehow or the other there was somehow or the other, I don't know how the toyos entered the house was living under her dressing table for many years. I had this out of body experience. Uh, my my soul was living my body. I thought maybe maybe my dreams are uh, this dream world. When I turned behind, hey, I was still I'm still sleeping, you know? And I was like floating out of my body. I went up to the ceiling. Past the ceiling I was in space very fast. I was in space already. I entered a tunnel. Uh, a tunnel where everyone talks about this uh Mine was a tunnel of clouds going round and round and round and there was a, a white path through the sun in front of me, travelling slowly or floating slowly towards the, the, the sun. It was such a nice feeling. I, 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 I felt that the sense of detachment, the sense of everything is all gone, you know. I was looking forward to see God already. It was a nice feeling, warm. Um, as I was about to reach eternity already, cross that, that end path already, someone grabbed my feet, uh, my leg, shook me, uh, so I lost my direction. I couldn't float anymore. I was, uh, like I had the sense of vacuum after that, from the top, that come down to earth and into my body and I breathed again. I realized that uh, it was my job is not done yet. I have to do more things on earth to help people who need my assistance. When the time comes, I'll just go. What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. <laughs>